वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैं नीम स्नेहा एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रिडिक्ट माई नेक्स्ट फाइव स्टार रीड्स दिस इज अ वीडियो दैट आई सीन being filmed quite a bit on youtube channels which i follow and it always intrigued me and i was always confused about how people are you know predicting their five star reads and i never understood it until today when i was just idly gazing through my bookshelf hoping for inspiration to strike me um it kind of did um because i had picked up a book just glanced through the first couple of pages and i was like hooked and i wanted to like ditch and i really wanted to like finish my current read and like get to that book faster so then i figured out then there are quite a few books on my shelves whose openings are really interesting or they come with some legacy or they come with like expectations and i think that they will be five star reads and that's how this video came to being uh, i pulled out a bunch of books that i have great expectations for and i'm hoping that they will deliver um so yeah i think most recently the video that i had seen was sonali from the melodramatic bookworm i'll insert her channel down below i really love her content and i really like i usually really like the books that she picks out and recommends um so i figured i will also jump into the bandwagon and predict my next few five star reads um enough of a ramble let's get started to the book that i had casually taken out and read like the first paragraph and i was so immediately hooked on to it that in it inspired this entire video the book is if on a winter's night a traveler by italo calvino i had thrifted this um from the fort book market i have a video on that which i'll link up above if anybody is interested to watch it um but uh, i don't know why i picked because i i have so many classics on my shelf which i've just collected because of the pretty editions or because of that because they are amazing thrift picks etc etc all the rationals that i have um and i i i'm struggling to reach for them um because it's just been a weird year um but this one i just casually picked it off and i read the synopsis of the book which i'll read for you i think you can tell why i got hooked on to this book <laughs> okay so it says based on a witty analogy between the reader's desire to finish the story and the lover's desire to consummate his or her passion it is a tale of two bemused readers who re attempts to reach the end of the same book if on a winter's night by italo calvino are constantly and comically frustrated the arabian nights of our day so it seems like it is a book about books and it's also a book about people reading this book i just found that so interesting i have seen a lot of people on booktube recommend this pay recommend this book particularly like the channels that read a lot of classic literature um so that's why i had picked out i had bought this book in the first place but just this synopsis and the first paragraph of this book which i'm about to read out for you i am just so excited to get into this book um and i'm i, I have a really really strong feeling that this will be a five star read for me uh, maybe it might just be the next book that i pick out to read um time will tell with that <laughs> okay so chapter 1 You are about to begin reading Italo Calvino's new novel If on a Winter's Night a Traveler. Relax, concentrate, dispel every other thought. Let the world around you fade. Best to close the door. The TV is always on in the other room. Tell the others right away. No, I don't want to watch TV. I'm reading. I don't want to be disturbed. Maybe they haven't heard you with all that racket. Speak louder. Yell. I am beginning to read Italo Calvino's new novel. or if you prefer don't say anything just hope they'll leave you alone isn't that just about the most interesting the most fun paragraph i mean i don't recollect ever reading a first paragraph of any unread book that has just made me so interested to read the full book um i am just so excited to read this book and uh, i will double back and tell you whether it is in real a five star read because i am expecting it to be an absolute riot and an absolute five star read so yeah then another book that i'm really excited to read is the house of the spirits by isabel allende um this book i had picked out after reading a uh, long petal of a sea again by isabel allende which i think was one of her later releases but this one is one of her greats I remember reading The Long Petal of a Sea and that is a historical novel set in Cuba and 
a country which I absolutely knew next to nothing about, and it just gave me so much perspective and so much history. Um, I did feel it was, I did feel that it was a little weak on the story side of it. It just felt like the stories were just there to serve the narration of history. But this book, I have heard again amazing things. I feel like even Rory Gilmore on the Gilmore Girls has also recommended this book and I am nothing but a Gilbo girl stan um, at this point so um, I will take Rory's recommendation in books um, not so much in the area of boys uh, but I will definitely take her recommendations for books um, this is set in a Latin American country let me read out the synopsis for you uh, the synopsis also sounds really interesting um, as a girl Clara Del Val can read fortunes make objects move as if they had lives of their own predict the future following the mysterious death of her sister, Rosa the Beautiful, Clara is mute for nine years. When she breaks her silence, it is to announce that she will be married soon to the stern and volatile landowner. Sounds very magical, realistic, plus some history, plus some interesting characters. It is a thick one for sure, but uh, I've had this one on my shelf for a bit. So I feel like I am finally ready to reach for this very very soon and I'm hoping that it will be a five star magnificent read. An Indian book that I'm really excited to get into because honestly I am late to uh, get into it uh, but the book that I'm talking about is Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. I mean if you think about an Indian book this one must be right on top of that list I think because again it is the booker of the booker. It is a book that any Indian bookworm would have read by this point and I haven't read um, so I am a little um, guilty of not having read Salman Rushdie before in my life. First book that I read of his was last year which is uh, I have it right here actually. Shalimar the Clown um, and I really really enjoyed the words that he paints just the his use of language is is absolute magic it's absolute mastery it's it's so beautiful to read his books and just completely dive into it um, and I feel <laughs> like the book that won him all the accolades all the praise will be kind of like his magnum opus and I'm really really excited to read this of course I feel like a lot of people know the premise of this book but anyway just to refresh um, this book is about the children who were born at the stroke of midnight on August 15, 1947 which is India's Independence Day and all of these children that they were born on that exact second have special certain powers um, and they are all telepathically linked so it's a vast sweeping story set across different geographies classes cultures all of that um, about these children and their lives. So I'm really, really, really excited to hopefully get into this soon. The book that I've recently hauled, which I'm so excited to get into, is Lessons in Chemistry by Boni Garmo. Um, I think I mentioned this in the video also, a uh, video of the haul, which I'll link up above if you haven't watched already. Um, an Instagram page that I follow said that um, you will like this book if you like Gilmore Girls. Um, and I absolutely love Gilmore Girls. I rewatch that series pretty much every second month because I just, I, I don't get bored of it, weirdly enough. But uh, this book, I am so excited to get into because of what that Instagram account says and also because of the premise of the book. So the protagonist of this book is somebody who uh, is an incredibly gifted woman and having been born in the 60s, uh, in the 60s, she becomes a chemist, which is quite unusual for women in that day and age. Cut two years later, uh, she finds herself as the star of a cooking show, which is called Lessons in Chemistry. And she's kind of like, this role model and she's kind of like a role model for a lot of women um, and she kind of inspires a lot of them to challenge the status quo and so on and so forth. I don't know I just really like the premise of this book. I feel like it will be like a fun challenging um, read but I always love such books with strong female characters and a lot of people recently have been talking about it and I've seen it a lot on, in bookstores as well so I figured I will pick it up when I had picked it up and I feel like it'll be a very, very strong contender for a five-star read. So, yeah. Then a non-fiction book that I'm really excited about is Shadow City, A Woman Box Kabul by Taran N. Khan. Um, this book was recommended to me uh, by the owner of a bookstore that I frequently visit and I absolutely love 
the curation of it's called trilogy in bandra and uh, one of the owners had recommended this particular book for me when i said that i'm beginning to get into non fiction a little bit and in khan first arrives in kabul in the spring of 2006 five years after the taliban government was overthrown she finds the city both familiar and unknown falling in with poets archaeologists and filmmakers she begins to explore the city and over the course of several returns discovers a kabul quite different from the one she had expected Shadow City is an account of these expeditions, a personal and meditative portrait of a city we know primarily in terms of conflict. With Khan as our guide, we move from the glitter of wedding halls to the imperial beauty of a Buddhist monastery, slip into a beauty salon, and wander through book markets. But as these walks take us deeper into the city, it becomes clear that to talk of Kabul's various wars in the past tense is a mistake. I mean, I know that she talked about. I mean, I know this book is set before. the current events in afghanistan and uh, reading about how things were in that brief period of victory so to speak um might be a little counterproductive and a bit counterintuitive but i can i feel like kabul as a city we always only think about guns and tanks and bombs and terrorists and you know uh, suppression of women's rights and all of this but i'm really really interested to know more about the city because i think at these days i feel very interested in like you know city cultures and city landscapes and city histories um and i don't mean histories of the past century i'm just interested in current contemporary cultural history so to say so um very 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 much looking forward to reading this book and i feel like i will absolutely love it the books that i feel like will be my next five star reads um i loved pulling out books at random reading a few pages and deciding whether i feel excited about these books because i i've just bought a lot of books in the past year and while buying them i am definitely because i'm buying them for a reason uh, something stuck with me at the time of buying those books that's why i picked them up in the first place but then like a few months down the line i kind of forget why i was so excited to buy a few books at the beginning um in the first place so yeah it felt good to kind of revisit and shop from my own bookshelf to so to speak i feel like i'll keep doing this format um going forward just to like kind of remind myself about all the great books that i have on my shelves already and that i don't need anymore um that is the ultimate aim but uh, yeah i hope this video made sense for you i had a lot of fun just picking out books at random and just filming this for you uh, if you're still around please like share comment subscribe all of the jazz um it will mean the entire entire world to me and i will see you very very soon